Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. It's good to see you guys. How was your day? How was your day, guys? Was it good? So so. Very hard. BC. How was your day? <laughs> well, guys, um, welcome to your class number five. Okay, I'm gonna share the the presentation with you in a moment. We will see the class presentation in a moment, guys. Just <laughs> okay, just be careful with your microphone. <laughs> we listen to the family talking about pupusas. <laughs> okay, can you see the PowerPoint presentation, guys? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, I yes. can see. Okay, very nice. Okay, today you're going to learn about simple present questions. Thank you for, thank you to the people who sent the homework. Okay. Remember that homework helps you for your practice. So, uh, before uh, we start, I need to explain the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. So you will learn simple present questions and also vocabulary for houses and apartments. We have this in the agenda, recalling previous class, no activity two, house and apartment vocabulary. Activity three, describing my house and wrap up. So to start with the class, I need to take the attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Let's see, Alba Yoselin, Romero Lara. Present. Thank you. Eh, Amalia Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Amalia. Ana Julia Flores. Ana Julia Flores de Cetino. Anderson Emanuel Portillo. Anderson Emanuel. Not present. Arely Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Briseida Yanet Garcia. Present. Briseida Yarisa Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Carlos Adolfo Garcia. Present teacher. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carolina Elizabeth. Garcia. Carolina Elizabeth, no yet. Eh, Cindy, no, sorry, Celina Yasmin Pérez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Celina. Cindy Fabiola Molina. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Present. Ok, Claudia. Eh, Cristian Josué Leiva. Present. Thank you, Chris. Daniel Enrique Ayer. Present. Thank you. Eh, Daniel Quijano. Present, teacher. Okay. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present, teacher. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Eduardo Enrique. Not present today. Um, Elsa Noelia Portillo. Present. Thank you, Elsa. Erika Noemi Hueso Gutierrez. 
Present. Stephanie Adai García Ángel. Stephanie García. Evelyn Janet Rivera Magaña. Fátima. Present. Oh, ok, Evelyn. <laughs> Um, Fátima Jocelyn Portillo de Rojas. She says present. She has problems with the audio. Yes, Ana Julia, ya la había mencionado. <laughs> ok, Gabriel Isaac Guevara. Present. Gabriela Alexandra López. Forja. Gabriela López. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil Sánchez. Present. Ginny Lucero Escobar Lucero. Present. Thank you, Ginny. And José Heriberto Durán Prado. Present, teacher. Okay. Did I mention everyone? Everyone present today in the class? Yes. Okay, thank you guys for your part attendance. Okay, so as I was telling you, we have the class right about. Okay, we're going to start with this conversation. It says, I get up at noon. I need two participants, two volunteers to read the conversation between Jack and Amy. So, two participants, two volunteers. Okay, teacher. Daniel Quijano, okay, Daniel? You're going to be Jack. And we need Amy. Um, let's go to the part on Sunday. Wait, wait, Daniel. We need someone to be Amy. So what? We need someone, one person to be Amy, to read. Okay, Eddie, thank you. Okay, now you can start, Daniel. Ah, entiendo que voy a leer este, la conversación, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, about Jack, Jack's part. Ah. Jack. Uh -huh. And Edith is going to read what Amy says. Entonces, comienza de nuevo. Yes, please. Let's go to the part on Sunday. Okay, but let's go on the afternoon. I will play on weekend. Uh, what time do, do you get up on Sunday? At uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday. Uh, I get I get up at uh, noon. Really? Did you eat breakfast then? Uh, <laughs> sure. I have breakfast every day. Then you let me at the restaurant at one o'clock. One o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay. Thank you, Daniel and Eddie. Good job. Yes, okay. So in this right. conversation, they are talking about the routine on weekends. And we can see some questions here. Uh, one of the questions is, what time do you get up on Sundays? Exactly, what time do you get up on Sundays? Then another question is, do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? So the first question, what time do you get up on Sundays? Is this a yes, no question or information question? Information question. Information question. Exactly, because we have a WH word, right? What time? And then we have the the rest of the question do you get up on Sundays and this question do you eat breakfast then 
It's just no question or WH or information question. Just no question? Just no question. Just no question. Because the answer is yes, no, or like in this case, sure. Sure is like yes, right? Good. So, um, what about you guys? What time do you get up on Sundays? Can you tell me what time do you get up on Sundays? You are telling me, for example, here in the group, I have Christian gets up at 5 a.m. every day on weekdays. Brenda at 5.50. Uh, Carlos, 4.30. And Heriberto, 5 a.m. Mm, Briseida, 4.30 a.m. Very early. And on Sundays? What time do you get up on Sundays? On Sundays, I get up at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. Okay. Who gets up later than 8? Eight o'clock. o'clock. You, Alberto, what time do you wait, get up on Sundays? Yeah, I get up on Sunday. Um, at? I... Hello? Uh -huh, at? At um, um, 8 a.m. A.m., okay. Yeah. And you, Carlos Adolfo, what time do you get up on Sundays? The Sundays, I get up uh, four o'clock because I have a service in my church at the six thirty a.m. Very yes. early. Wow, that is a sacrifice. And you, Amalia, what time do you get up on Sundays? Uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock? Okay, Chris? Yes. Thank you, Amalia. And you, Christian Leiva? At nine o'clock. At nine. Okay, who gets up at 10? Who gets up at 10 a.m.? Nobody, all these people are very, you know, early birds. You are early birds. You wake up early. Uh, on Sundays, I usually get up at 7. 7 or 7.30. Mm -hmm. No. No, Amalia. No. <laughs> no, but me, I, I get up at 7.30. Good, but I don't get up at noon because at noon it's very late. Very, very late. Okay. Let's continue with the next slide. In the next slide, you will see the formula or the structure for yes, no questions. Okay, for yes, no questions in the simple present is very simple. We just need the auxiliary. Remember the auxiliaries? Do or does, then we have the subject, the verb, and the complement. Do you study English? Yes, I do. I study English with Miss Rocio, chicas, okay. Do you study French? No, I don't. I study English, not French. And the answer is yes, plus the subject. Do or does, remember, this, if the subject is I, yes, I do. Yes, you do. But if it's third person singular, yes, he does, yes, she does, or yes, it does. The same happens in the negative. No, I don't. No, you don't. No, they don't. No, we don't. But we use doesn't for he, she, and it. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay? Remember the structure. Auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. Do you like tacos? Do you like tacos, guys? Yes. Yes? 
Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Okay. Do you like listening to music? No, yes, I, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. No, I do. Another question. Do you use TikTok? No. Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Do you have Facebook? Do you have Facebook? Yes, I do. Yes, I have. No, I don't. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Does your teacher speak English? Yes, yes, she, does. She, does. yes she does. Yes, she does. Okay. Does your teacher speak Chinese? No, no, no she, doesn't. she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Well, you can say sometimes when I don't understand. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So in the next slide, you will see um, again the structure, right? Do that subject very complicated. Uh, can someone read these questions, please? Can somebody help me reading these questions? These questions. Hi. Go with Gabriel. Uh, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Do you work? Yes, I do. I work every day. Does he get up? No, he doesn't. Do they go up? Go yes, out? They, they go out on Friday nights. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> so you will see here, remember auxiliary verb, the subject, and the verb in the infinitive form. And the answers, right? Remember, do is for I, you, they, and we. Do I, do you, do they, do we? And you know, write the answer, yes, the subject, and do. Or no, the subject, and don't. And that is only for the third person. He, she, and it. Does he, does she, does it? Yes, he, she, or it does. No, he, she, or it doesn't. Okay? Is it clear? Are you ready to practice? Are you ready? <laughs> Remember, the verb are other verbs except, except, the verb to be. The verb to be is special. It's very special. But this is for all the verbs. Dance, study, work, drink, eat, sleep, um, have, go, etc. Okay. Okay. Now, if you notice, information questions in the simple present are also very easy because the only thing you do is to add the WH question like where, what time, how often, what, why, when, which, who, etc. And then the, the rest of the structure is the same as yes, no questions. Auxiliary do or does, the subject, and the verb. Okay, I need another volunteer to read the questions, please. Christian? Where do you work? What time does he head up? How often do you day go out? What do you do? Exactly. This question, what do you do? Is like, what is your occupation? What do you do? Oh, I'm a teacher. What do you do? I'm a student. What do you do? I'm an employee. What do you do? I'm a nurse. What do you do? I'm a secretary. Okay. So, remember, WH, auxiliary verb, subject, and 
base form of verb. Yes. Which loves do or does depending on the subject plus what is next what is this subject subject that's right plus verb we can make another question what, what another example is why why do you study english okay that is a question why do you study english what do you eat for lunch how often do you drink water what time do you go to bed those are questions in the simple present. Okay, people, now it's time to practice. But still, we have more examples. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? Yes or no, I don't. Does Max, third person, he. Does Max like ice cream? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, I have some questions here. Examples. Do you have a car? I will ask Heriberto, do you have a car? Yes, I do. Great. Mm, Ana Julia Flores, do you like sushi? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Daniel Quijano. Okay. Does your mother cook very well? Yes, she, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, yes. All our mothers cook very well, right? We love mom's food. <laughs> Okay, Brenda Dimas, do you have a sister? Brenda? No, she don't. No, no, listen to my question. Do you have a sister? Yes, I do. Si tengo una hermana. Do you have a sister? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Sister. Does okay. your sister have a baby? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, let's see. Cindy Fabiola, are you there, Cindy? Hey, people. Mm -hmm. Open your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Your girl eats a lot. Yes, it does. This <laughs> does your dog eat <laughs> a lot. Thank you. Okay, Jeannie Lisette. Lisette, do you have a dog? No, I don't. Oh, you don't. Okay. I have a cat. Ah, oh, okay. Does your cat eat a lot? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So you notice the difference? We use that for the third person singular, right? In this case, your mother is she. Your sister is also she, and your dog or your cat is? Eat. Exactly, eat. eat. Very good. So now, guys, I would like you to write questions in, to type questions in the chat. Okay, in this moment, you are going to type questions in the chat. Uh, first, just no questions, okay? Yes, no questions. Let's type yes, no questions in the in the chat. For example, my first my question is: Do you like the class? Do you 
like the English class? Okay. Yes, no? I do. Yes, I do. Very good, Heriberto. Yes, that's the answer. <laughs> okay, I have another question. The next question is, does your mother live in the country? Does your mother live in the country? Here in El Salvador? No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. Okay, yes, she does. Or? No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Okay, another question. Do you have a pet? Yes. yes. Okay, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Briseida doesn't have one. Okay. Okay, now I make an information question. What pet do you have? What pet do you have? Okay, Jeannie has a cat. Eddie, you don't have. I don't have. I don't have. Okay, yes, I don't have that. Christian has a cat too. <laughs> oh, Carlos has two cats, two kittens. Okay. Okay, I have another question. What do you... What does your pet eat? Oh, Erika has two dogs, three chickens and dogs. Gabriel asks me, do you want to travel to Japan? Yes, of course. Yes, I do. Amalia sería, yes, I have a dog. Yes, I do. I have a dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. I my question is, what does your pet eat? If you have a cat or a dog, what does your pet eat? Okay, now you can make your questions. You can ask me questions. Daniel Rowe, do you like to eat? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you live in Guatemala? No, I don't. Okay. Yes, that's right. Oh, Elsa asks, Miss Rocio, do you like, ah, okay, teaching English class? Of course. Of course I do. The question would be, do you like teaching? Because you have two verbs. So the second verb must, must be in the ING form. 
Do you like teaching English? Okay, we have. <laughs> How do you go to the supermarket? I go by car. I go to the supermarket by car. Mm. My pet eats cat food. <laughs> Chicken food, food to chicken and food to dog. <laughs> okay, chicken food and dog and and dog's food. I can't eat crockets. <laughs> okay, now let's make questions with WH. Let's make WH questions. But you know, the cookie very well. Just. For example, where do you live? Where do you live? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do on your leisure time or on your free time? Okay. Ah, Christian says I live in Joyas de Serie. Okay. I have some friends in Joya de Serie. Where do you work? I work at home. Do you like to go to the beach on weekends? Well, yes, I do, but I don't go very often. <laughs> Edith lives in Santa Ana. Amalia lives in Santa Tecla. Okay, Mr. Duran is like, like, do you like? Okay. Do you like? How often ah, okay. do you go to the park? Okay, gracias. Uh, uh, thank you. You're welcome. I go to the park once a month. Once a month. I have two parks near my house. Balboa Park in La Familia Park, but I don't go very often. Maybe once a week. More questions? I have another question. What do you usually eat for dinner? Claudia lives in Soyapango. Daniel lives in Santa Elena. Okay. What do you usually eat for dinner? I usually have beans. Beans. Eggs. Or beans and plantain. And bread or tortilla, tortilla. Yeah. No. Oh, Gabriel, I live in Los Planes Arrenderos. I live on the way to Los Planes Arrenderos. Okay, I usually eat beans, platanos, plantain, tortilla, and coffee. Okay, plantain. And cheese, cheese or cream. Don't forget the cheese or cream. <laughs> well, isn't I make omelets with the eggs, eggs with broccoli, or eggs with cauliflower, or eggs with spinach? I try to make the eggs in a different way. <laughs> I usually have pupusas and cappuccino. Oh, that's delicious. I love pupusas. I sometimes have pupusas for dinner or sometimes I have tacos for dinner because I love tacos. 
I'm a taco lover. <laughs> Good. Another question. What time do you go to bed on weekdays? What time do you go to bed on weekdays? Okay, I'm waiting for the answers. I go to bed y usamos la preposición at and time. At 10 p.m., at 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. I go to bed at 10.30. At 10.30 p.m. Because I have another class from 9 to 10. Then I have to... I have to upload the videos on YouTube. So it takes me like some more minutes. So I go to bed around 10.30. At 11 p.m. at 9.30. Okay. Very good. I have another question. Somebody gave me the idea. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time or leisure time? What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I do the gardening. I love flowers and plants. Edith, Ria, I like to play with my baby. Great. I watch movies in my free time. But I listen to music. Oh, very good, Brisa. I enjoy listening to music. Excellent. I enjoy this. Or I see my friends. In my free time, I do sleep or walk or read a book. Okay. Okay, Carlos, sería in my free time, I sleep or walk or read a book. That's right. Sometimes I watch movies and series, yes. Yeah, in my free time, I also take a nap or I sleep. <laughs> it's important to rest. Okay, Eriver, do you like to watch TV? Okay. In my free time, I watch TikTok. <laughs> Okay, Christian. Very nice. And the last question. Oh, Gabriel plays soccer. That's great. Like my husband. Why do you study English? That's important to know. Oh, Ana Julia says, in my free time, I like to watch YouTube. 
Okay, I study English for a work in the future. Okay, you can say, I study English for better job opportunities in the future. That's great. I study English because it, it is, it is, it is very important in this, in this time. Okay, I like English and improve my job because I like English and I want to improve my job to be, I study English to be a professional in the future. I study English because it's a target to me. Okay, it's a, it's a goal or it's an objective, right? Objective mm -hmm. for better job opportunities too. I like uh, study English because I want to have a better future, better job, study for conversation with my brother. Okay. I like to travel on vacation. Great. Yes, and you need English, right, Ali? If you travel to United States, you now you will communicate. Because I like it and I want to learn to the and in the future go to another country. Because I like it. And I want to learn it. In case, in case I go to another country in the future. Okay, I study English to communicate in my job, Jose Roberto, to communicate in my job. Okay, excellent people. Excellent. Now, guys, uh, let's learn about vocabulary for houses and apartments. Okay. Can you tell me the different things? What is the difference between a house and an apartment? What is the difference? What is the difference? Okay, house. A house is bigger than an apartment, right? A house can be bigger than an apartment. The house has more bed, bed bedrooms or rooms. And in an apartment, you can have neighbors up to you, above you or below you, right? Up. There are many floors. Okay, so here you can see, you can see a house, right? This, this house has two floors, first floor and second floor. The first floor, you can find the dining room, the kitchen, laundry room, the living room, the stairs, the garage, the yard. Yeah bedrooms, the closet, hall, the stairs, and bathroom. In the apartment, we can only be, there is only one bedroom, closet, dining room, living room, the kitchen, elevator. 
It's very small, right? Good. So here you can see parcel house. Okay, you can repeat after me. House. House. Living house. Living 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 Bedroom. Bedroom. Dining room. Dining room. Bathroom. 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 Garden. Garden. Door. 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 Window. Window. <laughs> balcony. 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 The attic. 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 Roof. 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 And chimney. 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 Yes, well, Salvador, we don't have chimneys, right? <laughs> oh, unless you live in the countryside and you have a chimney, right? In the kitchen. Okay, now in this case, I want you to write a description of your house. Describe your house. This is the, my example. My house has three bedrooms, two living rooms, two bathrooms, one kitchen, one dining room, a garden, and a garage. In one living room, there are two armchairs, a bookcase, a clock, and a flower vase. Flower vase. A flower vase. A clock. A clock. And a flower vase. And a flower vase. Yes, I'm just. Vase. In a flower vase. This is a flower vase. Okay, flower vase. In the kitchen, there is a stove, there is a, a refrigerator, refrigerator, a coffee maker, a microwave, a kitchen cabinet, kitchen cabinet. a sink. In a blender, the blender. A blender. Okay, so let's describe your house. In this moment, everybody, please describe your house. Oh, in the bathroom, and I'm describing also the rooms, right? In the bathroom, there is a toilet, a mirror, oh, shampoo. Toilet paper, 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 toilet paper, a towel, a sink, and a toothbrush. And a brush. In the bathroom, there is a bed, a night table, a closet or wardrobe, a dresser, un tocador, dresser, a shoe stand for the shoes. In a fan because now it's very hot. We need a fan if you want to sleep. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. And please, in this moment, everybody write a description of your house. I will send you this. Ay, me le creo. Y tiene. Oops. Okay. So let's work on these guys. You have some minutes to work on the description of your house. Oh, <laughs> 
Qué chévere, una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, el párrafo dice, my house is house three. Y si yo, y si está hablando de mí, mi, mi casa, ¿por qué dice house? Has, perdón. My house has. Ajá. Because my house is third person singular, is it. Ah, ok. It has. Sí. Ajá. Ok, gracias, gracias. You're welcome. ni siquiera decir este en cada habitación in each room in each room each teacher una consulta si si ahí en el en tu bedroom solo fuera uno no llevará la s verdad it has one bedroom one Bedroom. No llevará ese, ¿verdad? No. Solo para uno. Bedroom. There is a bedroom. Or it has a bedroom. Ah, ok. My house has one bedroom. And remember, guys, the meaning of there is. Do you remember the meaning of the rings? And there are? I'm writing them in the chat, right? There is and there are. You're welcome.
Can you repeat, please? Garage. Edith, I don't understand. Did you say garage? Oh, <laughs> sink. That is the sink. Okay, people, we have only three minutes. I would like to listen to some of your descriptions. So, volunteers. Uh, we're going to start with Carlos, okay? And then Heriberto. First Carlos and then Heriberto. Thank you, Miss. Um... In my house has three bedrooms, one living room, one kitchen, one living room, a small garden, and no garage. So in a living room, there are two armchairs, a sofa, a clock, a television, some picture, a calendar uh, and a mirror. In the kitchen, uh, there is a stove, a refrigerator, a coffee maker, a kitchen, cabinet, a skin, and a blender. So in the bedroom, there is a toilet, a mirror, and Ahí me quedé. <laughs> no terminé. Sorry. And bed, obviously, right? In a bed for a hammock. I guess in the bedroom you have a bed. <laughs> yes, in the bedroom, a bed. And... Or a hammock. One hammock. Oh. One bedroom. <laughs> Um, I have um, two mirror and um, one shared chair oh. and a small a small table. Very good. And, uh, the table of bedroom. Okay, a night table. Night table. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, quickly, Heriberto, because I need to go to my next class. Go ahead, Heriberto. Okay. Um, my house has a uh, two two. My house has a uh, two bedroom, a uh, one living room, and in one bedroom, a uh, one kitchen, and in one one dining room. Um, one uh, bed, bedroom. One um, in my in my in one living room are uh, there are two two bed 
to so far in in in, in the kitchen uh, uh, one stop in uh, a refrigerator a refrigerator um, a coffee maker a microwave okay um, thank yeah. you i'm sorry i have to stop but i need to go to my next class and well guys the others please send you can send the home the, the activity okay in the whatsapp group okay people it was nice to see you see you next thursday okay don't forget to continue working section three and midterm in the platform okay bye bye guys take care bye bye, bye. 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 bye.